Now, one final thing about the force of motion, it comes in twos. For every action, there is an opposite action. For every push, there is a pull. For every up, there is a down. Let's try an experiment that shows equal and opposite reactions. Now, when I let the air out of the balloon, what do you think will happen? The balloon will go that way. That's because the air going this way makes the balloon go that way. The air going this way makes the balloon go that way. I think this is how a jet airplane works. That's right. And a rocket, too. But not only that, forces going in opposite directions are what make it possible for us to swim and even walk. Your arms pushing back against the water move your body forward. And your feet pushing like against the sidewalk move like your body forward. Movie. Scientists call the push in one direction an action, and the push in the other direction a reaction. And that sums up my third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And it's also my last one because we're out of time.